Hey guys, it's Pose and welcome back to the channel and today we're back with another match day vlog. Yay! And today is a game against QPR at home. It's been a while since we've had a game, obviously we're coming back from the international break and we know what happens every time we come back from the international break, we always bloody lose. But anyway, we're going to get down to the stadium and see if we can pick up three points. I'm not expecting anything else other than three points today, so let's go Stoke. And also, guys, I forgot to mention, my little brother's actually going to be one of the flag bearers for the match. So he's going to be on the like on the side of the pitch, waving the flags before the players come out. So hopefully I'll try to catch it and see if I can try to get him doing his thing. So yeah, it'll be quite cool to see. And also my mum's actually going to be going to it as well. It's obviously the first time I think this season my mum's gone to a Stoke match. And I don't know if she'll want to be on camera, but I'll see if I can try and persuade her anyway. So let's see. Cheers. Yes, lads, that was Eric Peters. I've just met Eric Peters. That's actually quite sick. I've met Bolton before, but I've not met Peters. That's actually quite crazy. Alright, let's get inside. The white spotters this afternoon, the substitutes. 32, Adam Federici. 23, Kuko Martina. 24, Darren Fletcher. 27, Boyan. Mm. 18, Mount U. 9, Benic Afobi. And 25, Peter Crouch. Your starting 11, the manager Gary Rowett has chosen for this afternoon's match. In goal, number 1, Jack Butler. 13, Tom Edwards. 17, your captain, Ryan Shawcross. Ashley Williams. 15, Bruno Martinzini. 38, Ryan Woods. 4, Joe Allen. 22, Sam Klukas. 7, Tom Hicks. 11, James McLean. And 19, Sido Barahino. In the box, come on.
Sam. Find yourself, you need it. Go on, Sam. Yeah, it's half time. Since we're still 1 1, so it's obviously decent. Sorry about the recording of the goal. The goal was a bit dreadful, but we're not doing too bad after their goal and after our goal, should I say. We actually looked live, we looked a lot stronger. And going to second half, I can see it's picking up a, a good goal and a good win, hopefully. So I think, I think we'll do 1 before it out. So hopefully that, that result happens. So come on, Stoke. Second half. Second half, guys.
Starting fights. Come 
on, get, the, get in the box. Right guys, I'm back at home now from the match and finished 2-2 in the end. Um, you can say I'm slightly disappointed from it. We had two goals disallowed. I don't, I don't think they... I just, I just don't know. I couldn't see from where I was, but yeah, they gave them offside in the end, which is quite disappointing because the fact is we have not actually scored three goals in one game all season and we scored four in this one. So that is a positive in a sense as we managed to put four past QPR, but ended up in a draw at the end, which is obviously still better than a loss. We move up to about 13th in the table now, which is, which is, you know, we're not, not where we're supposed to be. We're like eight points off like playoffs now, I think behind Derby in sixth. So uh, yeah, that's not where we want to be, but I didn't say it was a 
all right game the first like five six minutes we were very very slow that's why QPR probably got their goal as quick as they did was it Rangel in like the sixth or seventh minute scored but we came back quick obviously Berahino scored in like the I can't even remember what minutes but Berahino scored and with a tap in and put it equal then Joe Allen scored put it put us in front it was a good comeback to be honest because the first 15 minutes of the second half again we were dead slow giving the ball away sloppy possession and we needed that goal just to give us something but QPR second goal it was a good finish in the end it was a very good finish and yeah two goals just alone we could have you could have won the game 4-2 in the end but oh well it's one of those days so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and this vlog if you did make sure you leave it a like I can get caught on the wire there get caught on the make sure you leave us a like and if you didn't you can also drop us a dislike and let me know why you left this like in the comments below so I can improve my vlogs and yeah if you're new around here you can also subscribe as well because I do match day vlogs pretty much all the time and somewhere else as well I've actually bought my ticket for Port Vale versus Stoke that's right Port Vale versus Stoke's under 21 team to check a trade trophy our local derby it's not, we've not actually played Port Vale since 2002 and this will be my first ever local derby against Port Vale with Stoke so if you want me to vlog it, let me know because it's not Championship Football or any other cup. It's Checker Trade and Under 21. So if you want me to vlog it, just let me know. I'll happily vlog it because it'd be great because Stoke have got given 4,000 tickets and we've sold out those 4,000 tickets in the space of two or three days, which is absolutely crazy. So I'm, I'm lucky I got my ticket in time because, yeah, we got given like 2,000 tickets. We sold them out in like a day. We got given another 2,000 tickets. We sold them out. And they're talking about handing out more tickets because we think we've sold 4,000 and Port Vale sold 300. It's their first team. Their first team is not on under 21. So, oh well. If you want me to vlog it, let me know, guys, in the comments below. But yeah. Anyway, guys, this is Pones, and I'm signing out. Peace.